Hello beautiful people, I hope you're having a wonderful day. Last week's video we talked about some channel updates and things that are going on in my ministry and we also uh, talked about a t-shirt giveaway. So I asked on that video and this week's Monday Minute video, what was your favorite Bible verse? And I wanted to thank everyone who commented a Bible verse or commented why it was your favorite Bible verse. I really do appreciate it because we're going to talk about it in this video. So me and my team of researchers here at Bearded Ministry, we went through all of the comments that you had provided. So here's what we're going to do. If you actually follow the Bearded Ministry Instagram page, you'll notice that there are daily Bible verses out there. So for the next 50 plus days, I'm going to be putting your favorite Bible verses on the Bearded Ministry Instagram page. And personally, I'm going to be praying over each one of those Bible verses and for the person who left that comment as their favorite Bible verse. So if you are on Instagram and you're not following the Bearded Ministry page, go over there and follow it. It is at Bearded Ministry. And I'll leave a link to that page down in the comments down below. Before we get into the giveaway, I want to talk about one thing and that is favorite Bible verses and why they're so powerful. Out of, out of all those Bible verses, there was hardly any that actually overlapped or people that had the same ones. And you know, it is okay to have the same Bible verse as someone, but there's a reason why it's your favorite. Whether you get hope or strength or perseverance or encouragement or love or obedience through these Bible verses, there's a reason behind that. Working in, working in ministry, I've learned that there's a really easy way to share the Bible with other people, and that's through your favorite Bible verse. For example, I have a handful of favorite Bible verses, and there are actually times in my life or seasons in my life where like one verse is just really resonating in me. And for me, that's Isaiah 62 two right now. And here's an easy way to share the Bible with others. Especially, especially lost people. So I heard this quote the other day that I that it just it just really has been speaking to my life lately, and it goes something like this. It's and it says, "The nations will see your vindication and all kings your glory. You will be called by a new name that the mouth of the Lord will bestow." And and the majority of the time, the question that you get in response to that is, "Well, what does that mean?" Boom, doors open. It's time to get into God's word. Then you can respond. You know what? There's a lot of people that call me names, whether it be good names or bad names or, or anything. But in the end, that's not going to matter. See, I'm a follower of Jesus Christ, and He's going to call me a new name. He's going to call me perfect and chosen and child and redeemed. No matter what my past is, no matter the things that I've done in my past, He says that I've been made clean. And I'm not going to ever be perfect, but through Him is where I get my true identity from. How easy is that to share the gospel with someone? See, then that opens up more doors and more opportunities and, and, and you never know where that might go. But there's a reason why it's your favorite Bible verse and that can open up many doors to the lost and the people around us that need to know Christ. See, the greatest thing about a relationship with Jesus Christ is it's personal. It's me. It's me. It's my story. It's things that I've done. It's things that I'm going through. But it's personal. So when you're sharing with others, you need to make sure that it's personal to you so that you can resonate that to someone else. So when you're explaining your favorite Bible verse, it's personal to you why it's your favorite. So share that with others because you never know where that conversation might lead or when that seed might be planted, where it might go. See, we can change the world. It's, it's through our stories and our relationship with Jesus Christ that we can share with others. And then that's where change truly happens. All right, let's go ahead and cut to the announcement giveaway so that we can announce who the winners were. All right, let's go. Okay, guys, it's time to uh, pick out the winners um, for the t-shirt giveaway, and I'm just going to do it randomly. So um, there's no, like, I'm not deciding on who gets it or anything like that. So I'm just going to randomly pick. So um, let's see who wins. Okay, so here we go. We got the random thing. I've got the video uploaded. Uh, there were 30 comments on this video. Um, so let's uh, randomly pick a winner. Dion, Dion Howard um, said Joshua 1, 9 through 12 is his favorite. So Dion, I uh, got a shirt coming out to you. So uh, let's uh, pick another person. Okie dokie, randomly. Uh, James Williamson, you are definitely a winner. So I will get in contact with you. And um, let's pick one more. Let's get this in focus. Here we go, randomly pick. Christian Lohman. 
Awesome job. Congratulations, Christian. So congratulations to all the winners. Uh, thank you so much for everyone who commented. I really do appreciate it. I'll be getting in touch with you guys so that I can send you out a t-shirt. And thank you for supporting the channel, even if you're new here or if you've been here since the very beginning. I really do appreciate you. Yes, you. I promise. I promise I do. Good to have you back. Congratulations to all the winners. And for those who didn't win, you know, I'm sorry. I wish I could give a t-shirt to everyone, but just stay tuned because there's going to be more giveaways coming up in the near future. And these shirts are going to be available coming up real soon, along with some other t-shirts that I, I'm, I'm just really excited to show you guys. So I encourage you to get out and share your favorite Bible verse and reason with someone today because you never know how that might change their life. And don't you ever forget your life is your ministry. Live it out. Come on!